<laughs> Hello again. Welcome to the Bullish Money YouTube channel. We're just uh, taking a little drive here, but I wanted to talk uh, real quickly about an article that I had uh, read on uh, Yahoo. It was something about how um, there are more and more companies hiring independent contractors or more and more, com uh, more and more people starting their own businesses due to the mass layoffs that have been occurring throughout corporate America. And uh, you know, this particularly uh, piqued my interest because I myself am a business owner and been uh, running a small business for about a year and a half. But uh, prior to that, I've also been uh, uh, working in the, uh, the ladders, you know, climbing the ladders of corporate America and it's you know I, th I gotta tell you it's quite a uh, quite a cesspool of the, uh, the 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 depraved morality of of the uh, American citizen. I mean, in terms of just how cutthroat people can be uh, within the corporate structure, and people will literally kill each other just so that uh, they could you know climb uh, an extra rung on that ladder and um, uh, you know get that promotion or or you know, get that uh, lucrative project or whatever the case may be. And uh, I think some of that, um, some of that extreme behavior that has been uh, perpetu perpetuated by corporate America, I think that's starting to, uh, you're starting to see a kickback in, in that regard. And so a lot of people are trying to uh, create their own personal brand and branching out there uh, with the whole me incorporated attitude that, uh, that they can do themselves, that they can do a better job than rather than having some manager micromanage every little move that they make. And so I, I definitely ap applaud uh, that initiative. However, one thing I want to uh, be very clear about starting your own business is that when you start your own business, it is literally your own business. And what I mean is there are some charlatans out there that will say that uh, you'll get great tax benefits from owning your own business and therefore even if you don't make any money in a business because of the tax benefits you're still going to make money and I gotta tell you if anybody if anybody gives you any kind of marketing tactic or advertisement tactic that uses that type of language that you can make money while not making money let me tell you turn around and run away because that is the worst advice that you can receive uh, from you know a business owner to a business owner I mean just the, the worst advice if you're thinking about starting your own business you have to make a profit you can't go in there thinking that uh, year one and year two and then year three I'll I'll start taking losses and then year four five and six I'll start making it back up through through profitability no no no, no. you got to have the attitude that from the very beginning on the first day you're going to be profitable, that you're going to make money. Don't treat the the business as a hobby because if you treat it as a hobby, guarantee that the IRS will also treat it as a hobby. And if the IRS treats your enterprise as a hobby, guess what? Those tax benefits go out the window. So you can't have a lackadaisical attitude that you're going to say, oh, I'm going to make a lot of money by not making any money because of tax benefits. No, no, no. You, when you run a business, you got to run a business. You got to make money because I believe the the law states that um, if you're not profitable, you know, within the uh, first three years, that that's it. Your um, your business license or your your ability to be seen as a uh, as a business entity that goes away. And like I said, if that goes away. There goes your tax benefits. The other thing about tax benefits, the, the whole you know mystical tax benefits, you know, a lot of people will tell you that when you um, go out to lunch, go out to eat or whatever, when you go out to say a baseball game, that as long as you as long as that is a for a business purpose, like entertaining a client or or having a uh, a, a business meeting, as long as it's a business uh, concern a business matter that that could be considered a tax deduction let me tell you though that that is a deduction only against your business income okay you can't just take a deduction just because and say hey that's you know that's just money from the government no 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 
you still have to pay, you know, from your own pocket, the expense for, uh, you know, the, the, the dinner or the lunch or the, the baseball game or what have you. You still have to pay for that out of your own pocket. And at the end of the year, or at the end of the quarter, whatever, however the business entity is taxed, at the end of the accounting period, at the tax period, you then can deduct those expenses off of your business income. But guess what? If you don't have any business income, you have nothing to deduct against. So how the hell can you make money by not making money? Well, the answer is you can't, obviously. <laughs> so anybody that says that running your own business is so easy and that you just get all these you know, deductions and you can just like drive around anywhere, fly around anywhere, uh, go you know, watch baseball games, football games, basketball games, as long as you talk about business, that's so deceptive. That is so misleading. And, and I wish that more people will start to understand this concept that if you want to take advantage of those deductions, you first have to be making a business income. You have to have some kind of revenue to offset those deductions. Otherwise, you can't just you can't just uh, take deductions against zero and then say that uh, that negative amount is then credited to you on your bank account. That's bull crap. That's a bunch of bull crap. And uh, anybody that you know, supports that argument or pushes that argument. They are a charlatan. They are uh, trying to uh, sell you snake oil. And I say, don't buy it. Running a business is a lot harder than it may first appear. Okay, you really have to have a plan. And, and one of the, the best suggestion I can make for somebody who is considering running uh, their own business is I say, go ahead and do it. Don't let anybody discourage you. Go out there and run your business. But before you actually officially run your business, which means before you officially get your business license, make sure, make sure that you have the right plan in place. Make sure you're, you've got your business plan, you've got your marketing plan. Make sure you know what you want to sell or what you want to offer and have everything documented and planned out. Now, now it's not to say that that everything will go according to plan. It, you know, sometimes things happen. In fact, in business, a lot of things happen. There's unexpected occurrences that that happen all the time. You know, that's just you know, that's just business. You know, I mean, life is not perfect, but if you have a plan, at least you'll you'll be off, you know, running once you hit the ground, once you get that business license so you're not wasting any time. You're not, you know, tr using that first year as a, as a business entity, you're not wasting it, you know, trying to think, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to sell? You know, blah, blah, blah. You're just going out there and trying to make it happen. So you're not wasting any time on that, you know, ticking clock. Because believe me, the IRS, they, you know, they've got the you know, clock ticking on you. They want to see that you are a true business, that you are making a profit. Even if it's $1 profit, they want to make sure that you're running a profit, that this isn't some kind of hobby or you know, that you're trying to advantage the system like a charlatan, okay? So the IRS is, has eyes on you. Um, and it's just important that you, uh, you know, have a plan and just be ready, just be ready. But if you are ready and if, you, and if you've got that plan uh, set in place, by all means go for it because running your own business is a hell of a lot better than working for somebody else. Stop taking blind swings at the market and instead receive the best stock ideas with the highest probability of success. At Bullish Money, we want to put more cash in your stash using scientific algorithms. No opinions, no interpretations, no nonsense, just straight facts. To get started today, subscribe to the Bullish Money YouTube channel and get actionable stock ideas right to your inbox.